great. <laughs> okay, we're off to a flying start. Hello everyone, welcome back to my second channel. Today we are going to be playing some Animal Crossing and I'm so excited about it. I've wanted to make one of these videos for so long, but quite frankly, I had no idea how to. And so um, this is the current setup. The camera is recording the Switch. I think there's a way that you can do this properly. But I've chosen an avant-garde approach. I am in my gamer era it seems. And so today we're going to be playing a bit of Animal Crossing because basically I built this cool as hell little library, which I would really very much like for you to see. <laughs> Here's the thing, right? I haven't played this game in about a year. There's been a whole update since then. My villagers are going to be like, where the hell <laughs> have you been? Look, here's Isabella. Yes, I am playing this at 11.51pm on Valentine's Day. Mind your own business. Oh yeah, also my island is called Exile. Exile. We love it. It's about as like, where have you been, bitch? Where have you bloody been? Oh, I hadn't really considered that it won't be as good in the night time. Maybe I should change that. But before we carry on, I wanted to let you know that today's... Do you mind? You don't have to look bored. You could work with me here. <laughs> anyway, we want to... Dude, we wanted to let you know that today's video is very kindly sponsored by Surfshark. See, look, he's perked up now. Now he's interested. Just pretend that didn't happen. Surfshark is a VPN, which stands for Virtual Private Network. And what that means is, well, that it's great because firstly, when you are browsing the internet in public, so if you like to go to cafes and coffee shops like I do to work, then you can use public Wi-Fi with no fear that hackers are gonna get your information because Surfshark will basically encrypt the data that you are putting onto the internet. And that means that you can just browse with the safety and security of knowing that your details are gonna be kept just to you. And also the other thing that's great about Surfshark is that you can virtually travel. And what that means is that you can change your virtual location. So you could change the location of your laptop to the USA when you're in the UK, for example. And what that means is that you can access websites in other countries. So if there's a TV show that's only available on the US version of Disney+, Plus, you can change your location and then access the American version of Disney Plus and watch away. So it's fantastic. And you can actually get 83% off using my code JBOOKS at the link down below. And they'll even throw in three extra months free. It is an insane deal. So click the link down below, protect your data, travel virtually and save yourself a whole lot of hassle. So link is down below, get involved. Thank you so, so much to Surfshark for working with me on this video. I love ya. And we're back. Okay, so I changed the settings. So it's now the daytime so you can actually see things. Let's have a little wander, shall we? So this is obviously the airport. This is the entrance to my island. I hate this little weird cheese mouse man thing. Get off the island, look, you're, you're by the airport. Don't make me push you, because I will. This actually is now a hostage situation. Get in the freaking airport, leave. That's beside the point. I have ugly villages. <laughs> It's not ideal. Over here, we have this sweet little waiting area. Water fountain with these flowers that took me about seven years to put into place because I kept messing it up. And then on this side, we have, well, firstly, my nook's cranny, the little um, shop. But then just in front of that, a coffee shop. That's right. I'm pretty sure the new update has an actual coffee shop, which is great, but I think they're gonna put this one out of business, you know? Not gonna lie, it is an exact replica of Starbucks. It's not inspiration so much as just, I just copied the Starbucks aesthetic. Um, but I added a pizza oven, so it's like an upgrade, you know? Um, and that's on the beach. There's some surfboard hire over here, because why wouldn't you want to hire a surfboard in the bleak midwinter? Freeze your balls off in there. I've got my swimsuit on though, apparently. The beach is a bit of a mess right now, I'm not gonna lie. Oh, shall we try and catch the fish? Guys, I got so distracted, like, instantly. Here we go. Oh, he's still got it. Man, I was just litter picking and suddenly ended up going fishing. Oh, not this. Anyway, that's the little shop. Mr. Cheese Mouse is still knocking about, being an absolute menace to society on exile. We come up here and my museum is behind this <laughs> hybrid dinosaur that I made. Listen, I didn't have all of one dinosaur, so I just had to improvise um, and use different parts of different dinosaurs. Oh, does it actually have a head or just two tails? Okay, it, it's modern art. And then the piece de resistance. This is what we're actually here for, the library. So I started with this little front desk, got a nice little desk chair, got some houseplants, got a laptop. It's pink. 
it's rock and roll. You know, because I feel like a librarian would have a pink laptop. I feel like librarians are quite fun people. And then this is the library. I know it's good. I know it's good. I'm making a whole YouTube video on it. We have this little area just here with some sofas, a chessboard. I love the way that light shines on the table so it kind of lights up um, the books and the Newton's Cradle. And then on either side here we have some study desks. I basically modelled this on my university college library which I used to work as a librarian at. Um, over here we have, I'm, I'm pointing but you can't see where I'm pointing. On the left, there is another sofa with a table with some um, writing materials and a coffee. I love these little plants. These bookshelves were such bastards to set up <laughs> because to make a bookshelf on here, you gotta have like five books, wood, and then I had to customize them to make them this dark brown color. So it was a real ball ache, not gonna lie, but it was worth it in the end. I had to do a lot of time skipping to do this. I essentially cheated. Oh, it's snowing, that's quite nice, isn't it? Um, and then we have um, this little globe um, and a monstera, lots of sofas. I think it's good vibes. Oh, down here, what you might have just noticed, um, beneath the library, because life is all about balance, um, is the gym. I think it's a nice little training area, to be honest. We've got treadmills. This is more equipped than my local gym. So we also have here a basketball hoop. I think all gyms should have a basketball hoop right next to um, the treadmills and <laughs> bikes. I don't think that's a health and safety hazard at all. I think that's actually a very good idea. Here, you can beat the shit out of this thing. Little protein shake just there next to the vending machine. Interior design, guys. Look it up. Look it up in the dictionary and my face will come up. Here is a wrestling ring because I heard there's quite a bit of money in YouTuber wrestling. So... I'm gonna train my little Animal Crossing character up to, to prepare for that. Logan Paul, KSI, hit me up. Here we have some bikes that you could rent to um, cycle into the sea. A little children's play park. We just keep them out of the way and again by the ocean. Look at this little bridge. Isn't this just cute as hell? Um, here you can see that I started to build a restaurant and then I ran out of storage space and just started dumping my things on the beach. This looks like Boardmasters Festival at the end of the weekend. There's actual fossils <laughs> on the beach. But if you ignore that, look at this cool little Asian restaurant that I made. I loved this table. This is one of my favorite items in the game, I think. You can sit here, eat your dim sum, look out onto the ocean. It's a good time. There's a little oven back here. It seemed to have um, left the gas on. The gas bill is going to be huge because I've been away for a year and that's just been roaring. And then we have this little entertainment space. When Hannah Montana said, I might even be a rock star, I, I could relate because look at all these instruments. It this is the perfect venue, I think. Imagine being serenaded by the harp or the piano on the beach. Very, very cool, I think. Some uh, DJ decks over here as well. And then what's up these stairs? I really can't remember. Oh yeah, the campsite. This was actually my pride and joy. I loved making this because I kind of went with like a festival theme because I used all of the bits and bobs from one of the events. I can't remember what it was, but the the reason that we got all of these cool festival flags and bunting and stuff. Um, this is where a tent would be if anyone wanted to stay here, <laughs> but clearly they don't. I love this area. I think it's really, really cool. Not gonna lie, I've never seen it in the snow, so this is good fun. Um, more areas to sleep outside if you fancy it on a cot. That carrot cake looks absolutely stunning. Some uh, port just out here. You can tell that I worked quite hard on this area. Um, I really love it. And then this is the little um, pumpkin patch shop. You could come and have a little picnic. You know how it is. I'm not sure why the DJ decks are there, but you know what? There's always time to be a DJ. This is supposed to be a tree house. Do you know, I watched a tutorial online and then just couldn't execute it. I think there were some items that you needed that I just didn't have, and I'm not gonna lie, it just doesn't look anything like the tutorial that I watched. So that's quite devastating, not gonna lie. Again, there's just items everywhere here. Occasionally the island does just descend into absolute anarchy, and uh, this is a good example of, of where that happened. Listen, I ran out of storage, it wasn't ideal. I also, there's meant to be a ramp here, there, there isn't one for some reason. Where is my ladder? There it is. Um, so I very much went through a phase of being quite obsessed with this game, um, and I've recently been in a phase of not being obsessed with it, <laughs> hence why the island is so unfinished. Um, oh, this is the football pitch. Sorry, Sahara, I'm actually, I'm actually not interested. I led you on there. I'm sorry about it. I don't want to buy your rugs. Where are all my villagers? 
I've been gone for a while, I feel like they might have forgotten me. Oh, this is Biff. Hey, Biff. It's been a while. Okay, noted. Huh, you haven't left the island, but I've been swim training for weeks to come visit you. See, he's sweet, he's a real one. If your villager wouldn't cross the ocean to find you, you're doing something wrong. Why can't I find any of my villagers? Not gonna lie, this was not the welcome back party I anticipated. Oh, look who it is. Cheddar. I'm literally lactose intolerant, I'm not about to deal with you right now. Ooh, 10 months or something. Better late than never when it comes to the cheddar. Light rail, fromage, choo-choo. What language are we speaking, Cheddar Mate? Okay, I like this guy's beanie, Murphy. I ain't seen you since. Um, wait, we ain't met. <sighs> really? I, I was thinking, who the hell are you? I have not seen this dude before. Is he one of my villagers? Oh, now I love this little dude, Ketchup. Why weren't you talking to me even though you were around? I've been busy, Ketchup. I've been working on my business. I moved countries, Ketchup. Like, it's it's been stressful. Wait, have you been practicing your dancing skills in secret? That I have not been doing. I seem to have cleared an area here. Um, it's unclear what I was what I was attempting. Ah, this is my area inspired by Brighton Pier. I set up these little stools on the pier. This is a little beach bar. You know, I'm feeling a bit embarrassed now because this was better in my memory. Oh, I do like this little promenade though. This um, canal was actually very much inspired by Camden Canal because I was living there when I made it. And then here we have um, an arcade. I love the lava lamps. I think the lava lamps are one of the coolest items. Um, Neon is something that just always draws me in this game and in real life too. I made this little diner restaurant thing. Here is the Able Sisters um, little shop. I wanted this to look sort of like market stalls. That was the the idea. Um, and then these lead to the town hall. And I think that's pretty much everything. Obviously quite unfinished, as you can see. But the main thing I wanted to show you is this little library because I love it and I spent so long um, building it and working on it. I hope you like it. Now I haven't done the new update, so I think that I should do that and then play it. But I hope you enjoyed this little Animal Crossing video. Um, I thoroughly enjoyed myself, aside from that weird cheese mouse man terrorizing me. You wanna say hello to the people at home? You wanna tell them to subscribe? You just wanna sleep? You and me both, buddy. You and me both. Okay, thank you for watching. Goodbye.